Welcome Aries to your career and money reading for the month of August. We're going to go ahead and see all the possible energies and possibilities that are coming in for you for the month of August. I'm going to start off with your oracle cards because this is just going to give us the main theme, the main core energy that is running through your reading. And then we're going to do a deep dive with the tarot to get further um, messages, further insights. Now just remember if the messages that come through don't resonate with you, not to worry. It just means that it's not meant to be your reading at this time. And you can go ahead and look at your moon rising and Venus signs as they could have more relevant information for you. So let's start off with your oracle cards. Right now, this beauty card that comes through, you know, you might be saying to yourself, what has that got to do with career and money? This is about you, Aries, looking at, the, at yourself and acknowledging your skills, your abilities, your strength, and your inner beauty when it comes to what you can do with regards to career and money, okay? This is a message saying, my dear Aries, you have forgotten how absolutely incredible you are. And you need to take a deep, deep look in the mirror and acknowledge, acknowledge your abilities, acknowledge the, your successes, because what is coming up right next to that, which is an incredibly auspicious card in a career and money reading, is prosperity. Okay, so it's really about acknowledging and seeing, your, seeing yourself as somebody who can absolutely manifest and bring in this prosperity. This, this card is coming in for a reason. This does not come up often in a career and money reading. And when it does, Aries, it's telling you something. There is an absolute ability. Can you see she, this beautiful woman is being showered by gold coins, okay? There is a showering of prosperity. So we've been told that there's something happening in this month where there is potential for this showering of prosperity, this prosperity to start raining down upon you. Right, then we've got the strength card. And this strength card is an interesting strength card because as you can see, she's here with like two little, um, two baby cubs, because we even a third one here on her lap. And can you see how she's sitting? She's sitting in quite a relaxed kind of position. She's just holding these little baby cubs who are not really, um, you know, aggressive. They're not um, uncomfortable. They're, like a, they're very relaxed. And what this... I like this because it tells me that within the month of August, and we are in Leo season, so we've got these baby lion, the baby cubs within the lion, uh, within lion season. It's like you know your your strength is there, and it doesn't have to be full blown this year, this this month, Aries. Okay, you, you there's not going to be a calling for you to stand up and be incredibly strong and raw and be heard. No. As long as you just remember who you are and don't forget your skills, your abilities, your talents, you're going to be just fine. There's, there's, there's just that this, this month is calling for this quiet confidence, okay? Quiet strength and confidence. It doesn't have to be loud. And then we've got a commitment card coming in. And the commitment card within a career and money reading tells me that there could be some kind of signing of a contract. It could be committing to a new project, a new business, a new idea. So we're going to go ahead and see what that is relating to. Right, let's start with your tarot. Let's see what messages we can get for our lovely Aries for the month of August. Let's start with this card, Five of Swords, the Sun card, look at that, Three of Wands, the Emperor, that's beautiful, and Death and Rebirth, wonderful. Okay, right, Aries. First card we got here is the Five of Swords. Now the Five of Swords is a very interesting card here because as you can see here, we've got a victory. 
but it's in the distance. But in the forefront, what we've got is we've got this crow, which is kind of chattering away, and this man with like holding his head, like, oh my gosh, kind of a kind of a, it's not, it's not a content, kind, as you can see, not kind of a content expression. It's like more of a, oh, kind of expression. Okay. That's the only way I can describe it. And that, my dear Aries, is about you kind of not letting the negative chatter within your head win. Okay. If you can move away from the negative chatter, you are going to be much better off. And this is about you not putting yourself down, not putting down your skills, not pulling down your abilities, not putting down your talent. This is about you really acknowledging what you've got going for you. Okay. That's very, very important. Okay. Because there's for just this, especially for some of my areas, it's just coming through not to let your own inner voice talk you down, talk you out of anything. Because look at this. We've got right by our prosperity card, we've got the sun card. The sun card is the most positive and the most optimist, optimistic card of the tarot deck. And can you see how she's just standing with her arms wide open, embracing whatever, look, it's exactly the same kind of stance. Can you see that guys? You have been told twice now, there is a big opportunity for this prosperity to flow in. And I think this prosperity, there's going to be, I'm, I'm coming to it now, but there's going to be quite a big change coming for you in this month. There's, there's, a, there's, a, there's a change and an offer, okay, coming in. And if you, uh, I'm just, I'm just, what I'm trying to say is you, if you talk yourself out of it, it's going to be a missed opportunity, guys, because, you know, and the, the, only, the only person who's going to talk, talk you out of it is you here, okay? It's you here. It's going to, this, this, there's something coming in. It's something, I'm telling you now, it's, it's coming in from quite a strong, um, it's, it's coming through from, from a, a, like an emperor kind of energy. Now, the emperor energy is a very strong energy. So it could be a position or a company or a, just take it as it resonates. But it's, um, it's quite a leap for you guys. Okay, there's definitely a leap. You're going to spend some time thinking of it. But these flames here are representing possibilities. Okay, and I can see that you really, really want to do it. You want to dive in there with your surfboard and get going okay everything looks good but there is just this that I'm quite that I just want you to pay attention to don't let yourself talk yourself out of it okay you just have to acknowledge there is a reason why this is coming it's coming through for you there's, there's a reason why this it's it's a, some kind of an offer because we've got the the emperor and the commitment card here and with that we are told that there is a death and a rebirth so it tells me this could be the death of whatever came before it the death of you not acknowledging yourself not seeing yourself not seeing your value not seeing your worth you getting rid of this negative talk within your head okay if you are able to this offer is coming from a very solid source guys now it could be anything okay when we, we look at career and money it could be a promotion in within an existing company it could be a, a colleague or a friend wanting to to break away and going to business with you but it's this it's a solid 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 opportunity and it's calling for a firm commitment I just want you to know that there is the possibility that you are going to talk yourself out of it, okay? Or even perhaps there are people who are going to talk you around you who are talking, but I, I really get more of a feeling about you talking yourself out of it. it with, with this death and rebirth, it just tells us there is unbelievable possibility here. Unbelievable possibility. Can you see within this cloaked, red cloak, there's a complete new day that is dawning. If you are able to take it but you're going to have to commit that's the only thing there's a big commitment here guys and it's going to require strength it's going to really require to you to tap in to your inner inner strength but you with the sun and prosperity card here it looks amazing your challenge aries is yourself is yourself here
But there is an incredible, incredible, with I can see the commitment, the person, the, the organization, the person, the situation is amazing. And there's a new day dawning. And with prosperity and the sun, looks incredibly, incredibly positive. Right, so let's go ahead now and see if we can get another message for our lovely Aries. Wow. That's the fool jumping out. Tells me absolutely brand new start, brand new beginning, bit of a bit of a leap into the unknown, but that's that's what it's calling for. That's what it's calling for. Are you ready to take a leap into the unknown, Aries? Look at this. We've got the Eight of Wands. Guys, this is happening quite quickly. I, I so strongly suspect by the around the 8th of August, you can probably see things start happening and moving in this direction because this is energy moving quite, quite quickly here for you. And we've got the Emperor again, jumped out again. This offer, whatever it is that's coming in here, and there's something coming in, it's like nothing you've ever done before, but whatever this company, this person is, they're going to ask for a firm, firm commitment. And there's a lot, a lot of potential here, should you wish to take it. So are you ready to take a leap into the unknown? Okay, unknown, but you know what? You can always do it in a very cautious way, but there is definitely, um, there's a lot of potential here with this prosperity card and the sun card. Very, very nice. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please go ahead and give uh, give it the thumbs up. It just lets me know that you like this kind of content. Um, if you like, you could, would like, you could also subscribe to my channel. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful August and I'm sending you all lots and lots of love.